Hey guys, Jamie here. Welcome back to another collection video. This is one I've never really done before, and yeah, you can see the new angle. Uh, football shirts in the background. I just thought I'd try something new. Um, I'm actually wearing my probably my favorite shirt at the moment, the uh, Inter Milan shirt from 2000. Can you see that? From 2008. Um, yeah. So. This is something I've never done. I'm actually going to be showing off my uh, match program collection. Yeah, again, never done this before. I have a lot of match programs, but I've never showed them off in a video, so. Yeah, we'll start off with the Linfield ones. They are, um, they're all called, the Linfield ones are called, look at Linfield. There's Linfield, Northern Ireland, Liverpool, Rangers, and some other ones. Well, yeah, well. One other one. That is actually a Euros one, but I think that covers it. Um, for all the team match programs I have. First one is... This is a perfect way to start. <laughs> Linfield v Celtic. Yeah, I was actually at this match. I, I wasn't at all of these matches, um, but... I've, I've just acquired these over the years, so yeah. Lost that one 2-0, but still, great match to go to. Loved it. Um, move that down. Uh... Here's one from a match against Crusaders in, I think, 13th April. Yeah, last season. I think this is when we actually won the league against Crusaders. And if you look at that, um, I actually received a few of these. And if you look at that, that's actually autographed by the whole team. Can you see that? There you go. You can, about, you can just about see it. Yeah, that was actually really nice to get that. Really, really nice. Look at Linfield uh, Champions. This is when we played Glenavon, I think. Yes. Uh, yeah, Glenavon. And I've got two of this one for some reason. Uh, there you go. I've, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know why I have two. Maybe one of them was from my dad or something. But, yeah. Uh, look at the Champions. <laughs> this is from when we played Cliftonville. Again, this is last season. Yeah. Uh, and then these two are from the Europa League this season against HB Torshavn and uh, FK Sujeska. I think that's how you pronounce them. Not sure. But yeah, that's all the Linfield ones. Um, and I think the only two I was at was the Celtic one and the Glenavon one. So yeah. Anyway, moving on. Northern Ireland ones. Um... Here's one that I wasn't actually at, uh, against Malta in 2000, um, can I just show you that, away kit, I think it's alright, but I think I prefer the home kit from this year, um, if we can get, find a good picture of it, um, yeah, that one, the Patrick one, can you see that one? Love that top, really want to get that one, so yeah, that's from a match against Malta in 2000, I'm guessing they lost, because, um, the team wasn't really that great back then. So, uh, jumping to 2004, here's one from a match against Poland, which I think we lost 3-0. I wasn't at this, but yeah, I've just had these for years. Yeah, Mr. David Healy on the cover. Here's one that's a bit wrecked. Uh, from a match against Austria, which I think was the 3 all, where Stuart Elliott equalised in the last minute and <laughs> injured the keeper in the process. That was a great match. Um, here's a really special one. Uh, yeah, this is probably the most special one in the collection. The 1-0 win over England. In 2005. This is the math program from that. Do you know how much this could be worth? Do you know how much this could be worth? The, there's something I forgot to mention about the Linfield one. Uh, the Glen Avon match, we won the league and... I'll just show you a picture here. I met uh, Jamie Mulgrew after the match. That's me and him. There you go. You see that? And got a picture with Mark Stafford as well. Yeah, good. Brilliant that was. But yeah, this worth thousands. I don't have the one from the match against Spain. Um, don't know if I'll find it either. But yeah, l l look at that England team. I mean, you've got Paul Robinson, Rio Ferdinand, a guy that took Wayne Bridge's wife, a treacherous Liverpool trader to play for Man United, Frank Lampard, Gerard, Joe Cole, Beckham, Gary Neville, Shrek, and the guy that cheated on Charles. So, yep. Great England team that was. Um, 
This isn't actually a match program, it's just some Happy Days magazine about the Northern Ireland team. Not the... Forgot I even had that, to be honest. Uh, now, I haven't got any from like 2005 until 2017. But uh, here's the one from the Czech Republic match in 20, 2017, which I think ended 2 0. I, I, again, I was at the match. Um, I actually vlogged it. This is actually my first ever Northern Ireland match. I vlogged it. And you can check it out. It's somewhere on my channel. It's like two and a half years old. What the hell? Two and a half years old already. Um, yeah. Yeah. My first ever Northern Iron match. Great memories. And I love that in the back. No to racism. Racism should just get out of football altogether. Especially in the Italian league. Have you seen how bad it is in the Italian league? Anyway, here's uh, Northern Ireland against Belarus. Not sure if I was at this one. I think this ended, I think this might have ended 2-0 actually. Hang on, let me look it up. I think it might have ended 2-0. I'll just YouTube it. Northern Ireland versus Belarus. Uh, did it end 2-0? Um, no, 2-1. I think. Hang on. It ended, ended 2-1. Is this one? Where, is this the one where McGinnis scored the last minute? I'm just double checking here, guys. Just bear with me. Yeah, it is. Nice. Well, this happened. Remember watching that match? I wasn't actually at it, but I think a friend of mine was at it, and he actually got this for me. So yeah, and yeah, equal game. You wait for respect on the back as well. Love seeing that. Um, yeah. Yep, that's all the Northern Ireland ones. Here's a pretty special one that I can't actually read. But it is uh, from Euro 2016. I can't read it because, you know, it's in French. And I don't speak French. But, you know, it's cool to have, I guess. I mean, yeah. So, yeah, that's a pretty cool one. Um, now, the Liverpool ones. I do have some bigger match programs, but I'll get to the bigger ones last. Uh yeah, here's one from Billy Drennan's testimonial in 1983. Uh, Liverpool against Man United. Which ironically is the only Liverpool Man United match programme that I have. 80, 80p. Nowadays they're like 3 quid. Which, you know, isn't bad. But back then it was 80p. Back before that it was like 20p or 30p or something. I always thought that picture was a bit creepy. Like, look at that. Is that not a bit creepy? These teams, look at these teams. Some of the players have played that here. Back, look at this. Sunus, Brian Robson, Sammy Lee, Ray Wilkins, Craig Johnston. That United team is a bit... Not sure how many... Whatever. But, yeah. Really cool, that. 1983. Now we jump forward to 2004 and the match against Wolves. It's, I've never actually been to a Liverpool match, but I just acquired all these because people go to the matches and they actually bring these back for me. So, yeah. If I remember correctly, this ended 1 0 and Hoopia scored in the last minute, but I think that's either Harry Keel or Steven Gerrard on the cover. Look at that. Can you tell if it's either Harry Keel or Steven Gerrard? Because I can't. And this. There's something about this Wolves team. You won't believe it. Look at it. Look here. Number 16. Can you see that? Number 16, Kenny Miller. <laughs> you know, Kenny Miller just scored like 11 goals against Celtic. Uh, yeah. Well, that's from the 2003 04 season, which we, I think we got fourth on the final day, or, or the, the second to last game against Newcastle. And speaking of Newcastle, here's one from the, two, the, two, the 2006 07 season when we. I actually just remembered a couple of days ago. This is actually the match program from when Javi Alonso scored from his own half. Against Newcastle. So, yeah. And as you can tell, it's... You could do with tape. It's not in the greatest condition. But, you know. Yeah. Uh, but these are really cool. So, yeah. There's that. What the hell? Nicky Butt was still playing in 2006. <laughs> Um, so yeah, here's from, I think, the 4-1 against Porto. 
in the 2007-08 season. I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously it's 07 08. It's got it's, it's got it's got Torres on the cover. Um, but yeah, uh, I think Tor I think Torres actually scored in this match as well. I'm pretty sure he scored in this match. So yeah, that's from the Porto match in 2007. Pretty cool. This is from a 2-1 against Arsenal in 2011-12. Yeah, Stuart Darning on the cover. What does that tell you about the team at the time? I mean, there was Kite, Gerard, and Suarez, so wasn't a really bad team. And Pepe Reina was still here. Um, yeah, and here's something that I completely forgot was even in here. Some like pictures from like the 2012 Carling Cup. So yeah, brilliant that. Well, it, it's not a brilliant match. We lost the two one. Van Persie scored in literally like the last two minutes or something. Here's one from the four nil. In 2014 over Everton. <laughs> Just ignore that person on the cover. Um, so, yeah. That's from the 4-0 over Everton. Love that match. Despite Suarez. Yeah, I don't like Suarez. And the last one Liverpool won for now is uh, West Brom in 2016-17. Can't even remember what the result was of this match. I think we might have... Something, something tells me it's 4-1. I don't know. Um... But yeah, that home kit, I think that's a kit I actually want to get. I actually quite like that kit. I think it's really, really nice. Um, but yeah, um, Klopp's first full season. Um, and 1560 wasn't, wasn't his first full season because... Uh, what's his name? Brendan Rodgers left in October. Was it October? October-ish? Um, so yeah, moving on to the Rangers ones. and There's a lot of Rangers ones. So, there's like 13 Rangers ones here. First one is, obviously, I wasn't even born, but against Celtic in November 1991. So, I think this ended 1-0, if I'm correct, and, of course, McCoy scored on it, because, you know, when was he not scoring against Celtic? But, yeah, really cool, uh, really old. I mean, what's what was the price? It doesn't say, does it? I don't know. Probably ADP or something, I don't know. Here's one from Wraith Rovers in 94. It's missing the cover, but, you know, pretty cool. Yeah. I think this is actually the one that has my all-time favourite Rangers kit on it. Yeah, this is the season where they wore my all-time favourite Rangers kit. That one. All-time favourite. Love it. We won the treble. The next year we won the double. Okay, 92-93, we won the treble and nearly got to the European Cup final and beat Leeds. And then in 1994, we won the double and got to the Scottish Cup final. And McCoy scored an overhead kick in the Cup final against Hibs, so yeah. Here's one from 1995-96 against Hearts. I think Hearts actually might have beat us 3-0 and one of their players scored a hat-trick in this game. I think it was either this one or like some, a couple of months after that one, but yeah. I'm pretty sure we made a loss to Hearts in this game. But that's also the season where we hammered them 5-1 in the cup final. Sorry, Footloose. <laughs> anyway, here's one that's pretty special. Um, Rangers Celtic, April 1998. I think this might have been the 2-0. Where Jonas Thorn scored that screamer. And uh, Albert scored again. Oh, what the hell? It's got Angel Hans Brick in there. Can you believe that? So yeah, May 1998. Um, yeah. And then here's one from uh, the Kilmarnock match, which unfortunately ended 1-0. Kind of ended our chances of winning the league that year. Um, yeah. But, pretty cool. Yeah, they scored in literally like a last minute. Um, anyway, here's one from the treble year, 98-99, against Motherwell. I, th I think this might have been the opening day of the season, where Albert scored a penalty in the last minute. Or am I thinking of the Aberdeen match? I'm pretty sure this was the one where we scored a last minute penalty to win 2-1. Look at the players on the back of that. Newman, Van Bronckhorst, Kanchelskis, Alberts. And, yeah. All them players. And Colin Hendry. <laughs> so yeah, this is a pretty uh, cool one. It's from the first leg of the UEFA Cup against PSG. Um, I think both legs actually ended 0-0. Because um, the season review, I actually remember only showed Rangers goals. And neither of those matches were in it. Apart from the shootout in the second leg. 
So I'm guessing both legs end on nil nil because apparently Rangers missed a missed a penalty in the actual match itself in Paris. But th th that's a really cool poster. I always thought that poster was really cool. I mean, you've got Kanija. Who's that? Can't tell. Can't tell who that is. You've got Klaus Konterman, Ronald De Boer. What a team we had in like the early, late, late, late night, in the nineties and early two thousands. Here's one from, I think, a 4-0 against Kilmarnock in the 2002-03 season, where we won the treble. And then the next two are from the 2003-04 season. Don't know the score, because, you know, 2003-04 was a pretty forgettable season. We played Celtic six times and lost six times, so, yeah, that was fun. Uh, anyway, this is from a match against Motherwell in January. Uh, with, I think that's Hamed Namuchi on the cover. I don't know. Um, and then Rangers against Dundee. I can't remember his name on the cover. I was tempted to say Gavin Ray for some reason. I don't. I, I don't know who that is. But yeah, if anyone knows who that is, leave it down in the comments. Because yeah, and it's kind of ruined on the back. So yeah, but that's another one of my favorite Rangers kits that I want to get. Really like that kit. Now then, here's I think from the old firm in August two thousand five, which we won three one. Yeah, it says down there at the bottom. You can't really see it. You can't really see that. But yeah, Nacho Novo. I think that's when he scored a parkhead in the 2-0. And then 2006 7 against uh, Motherwell. Which I think is... Who is that in the cover? I think that's Rodriguez or something. Considering it says J-Rod beside that. I'm guessing it's Rodriguez. But yeah, um... They still had Scott McDonald, Motherwell. Not sure if they had Lee McCulloch. I, mean, I think he was playing for Wigan. But yeah, and the last Rangers one is actually a match I was at. I think this is the only Rangers one I have that I was actually at the match. Is uh, Hibbs in August 2015. You know, when Tavernier scored a free kick. Hang on, I think I'll try and get the free kick to show you. This one here. This goal. Look at this for a goal. Tavernier! Was that notification? Love that goal. Love that goal. Anyway, yeah, I was actually at this match up away up in like the main stand. You know, where the, where the TV camera is. I was sitting away up there. But yeah, um, really cool. I've, I've actually got a poster of Andy Holiday up there. I would show you, but you know, I can't be bothered moving the camera. So yeah, uh, Lee Wallace on the cover. Legend. He was loyal, by the way. I, in 2012, when everyone else left, when we got kicked out, he stayed. He stayed. So fair play, Lee Wallace. Media club legend for that. Now, remember the one I showed you earlier, the Northern Ireland-England one? Well, here's the one from the England-Northern Ireland match. I wasn't actually at it. I think my dad was at it. But um, we lost 4-0. But we actually beat them 1-0 in Belfast, like, what, six months later? So... Yeah, and I actually like the bigger match programs. I mean, this one, I mean, look at it. It is wrecked. Look at it. And it's got Wayne Rooney in the cover. And again, can you, can you see that? What it says in the bottom? Look, no to racism. I think it says no to racism, but it's kind of hard to see it. So, yeah, but it is pretty cool. I mean, it's got, like, that, I'm not sure, youth team or something, or whatever that is. But, yeah, 4-0 in March. I think March, yeah, 26th March 2005 at Old Trafford. I think I actually watched that on TV. I think, we might have, I think I might have had a videotape of it somewhere, but I uh, lost it. Yeah, now then. UEFA Cup Final 2008. Um, yeah, this isn't like a Rangers one, but Rangers were in the match or classified as a Rangers one. I mean, there's some pretty cool stuff in here. In this one. Like, the routes to the finals, uh... History of the competition. It's stuff. What it's in Man City Stadium, but there's stuff about Man City themselves for some reason. Who I don't think were even in the UEFA Cup in 2007 or 8. I mean, considering in the 2006 or 7 season they scored 10 goals at home all season, I highly doubt they were even in Europe. So yeah, here's uh, the I think the 2016 Betfred Cup semi final against Celtic. Lost one 0 Um. But yeah, um, 
for some reason there's a poster for ICW in here that has Trent Seven, Bully Ray, Kurt Angle, Mick Foley, Drew McIntyre, and Ricochet on it. Look, look at that. Why is there an ICW wrestling poster in here? I mean, like, there's the current WWE champion. I mean, not Mark Warburton. God forbid if he was champion. Yeah, Drew McIntyre, Mick Foley, Kurt Angle. I think that's Wolfgang from Gallus. Is, is that Wolfgang from Gallus? There's actually quite a few NXT UK guys on there as well, so... Yeah, and there's Ricochet down at the bottom. Way down at the bottom is Ricochet. So, yeah. But that's the Ranger Celtic one, pretty cool. Why there's a wrestling poster in that, I have no idea. But here is... A, on to the last three. They're all Liverpool ones. To end it off. Um, and again, I've never been to a Liverpool match, but people just give me these. Um, as, like, gifts. Um, I think I just spat on it. Uh, this is from Sevilla. I think the, it was the opening match... I think our first match back in the Champions League in 2017-18... When we got to the final, and when we got to the final, thought we, we could win it, and then Ramos went and ruined the whole thing. I still hate that, man. I still hate Sergio Ramos for that. Anyway, um, I mean, <laughs> it's obvious who that is on the cover, Salah. I mean, look at the afro. Anyway, I think this might have ended 2 all. I think, I, I think Salah might have scored in this match. It was a deflected goal, but he scored in the match. Um, ended 2 all, unfortunately. Thanks to Lovren. Um, and then here's one from the Bayern Munich, the charity match against Bayern Munich in 2018. And the only problem with this match is, um, there's only one problem with this match and that Michael Owen was playing on it. But yeah, um, that's pretty cool. Um, I think it was like 3-all or 4-3 at half time or something. Like uh, Liverpool were 3-0 up and then Bayern came back to 3-all. Like if you're three 0 up, surely you like if you're three 0 up. No matter what point of the match it is, you should be losing. AC Milan and Arsenal, probably know what I'm talking about. Anyway, the final one is from our Champions League winning campaign in 2019. This is from the Napoli match, which I think ended one 0 I think it's the one one where Salah scored a cracking goal. Skinned a couple of players and then stuck it into the stuck it in the side netting from the angle. Um, there's, there's something on AC Milan in here for some reason. Anyway, but yeah, that's the last match program I have. That is my entire match program collection. I uh, just thought I'd do a bit of a different video. I don't see many people doing this video on YouTube. I don't know why not a lot of people do this, but... Or I, don't, I don't know why a lot of people don't do this, but yeah. That's just a bit of a different video. Just thought you'd enjoy it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll... I'm going to go and just maybe look at these match programs. I haven't seen Raw yet. I'm probably just going to go watch the highlights from Raw because I can't be bothered watching it. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.